we're going to start on this boring head again to make the gearbox so here's the main gearbox housing I've got the material already cleaned up it's uh, over width still it'll have to go in the fore drawer and get this feature put in in the lathe that'll be the last operation but I can go ahead and do all, all the internal stuff on, the, on that side there I've gone ahead and edge found everything's off datums off this edge and the center line in the x-axis so there's four four and a half mil holes to put in so I'll do them first Uh, these next two holes are 6.5 mil. Okay, this next one is where a shaft goes through. There has to be a reamed 8mm hole. Okay, this next one has to go at the 10.25. Rightio, so off camera, I didn't have a boring bar small enough to fit in the boring head to do this 10.25 mil hole, so I resorted to an adjustable reamer. Uh, thankfully, I've got it on the on the money, and it looks pretty ugly at the top. But all this is disappearing. There's only a small piece, a thin piece at the bottom that's left. But anyway, it's in there now. Now I can concentrate on putting the the, the count of the the bore in here, and then it'll have to be reset up again in the rotary table, and do this bore around on this side of, well for this hole here bit of fiddling around and I think I've gone about it backwards but if it fails I'll have to start again okay so this if you want to call it a cannibal has to be 10 mil deep I'm going to open it up and then go in with a bore and bar So this has to go to 21.5, so it'll can take a little while. Okay, the bore is sitting at 19.99, so I'm going to 
So I'm just taking half a mil out total at a time. So 0.25 here. That's it. Right, yeah, that's measuring 20.99. So I'll take another quarter mil out and, or quarter mil of a cut, and that'll give us half a mil. So I'm just going to fraction over. This is clearance for the gear, the gear that sits in there. Twenty-one point four nine, close enough for me. Okay, these holes here are the four point five mil holes. So this one, this one, this one, and this one have to be opened up with an eight mil end mill, thirteen millimeters deep. Okay, I've got the depth stop set to thirteen mil deep, and I do these these four four and a half mil holes. Right, now on the plans it just gives you coordinates that you need to put some more 8 mil holes, 4 mil radius holes, so when this big counter ball goes in, yeah, it's a bit hard to explain but I'll just do it. Uh, I think I've literally screwed up here somewhere because that is meant to be very, very close to that hole, but it's actually going into it. So I don't know what the hell is going on here. This could be all the failure now. I'll go across this side and have a look. Yeah, this side's the same. What have I done? What have I done? I have to go and study the plans. Right, I've worked out where I've gone wrong. These two 8mm holes I've just done, so this one here and the one I'm about to do, should have been 2.5mm each side of the centre of this 10.25 hole. I went 5mm. So this one's 2.5mm higher towards this top face and what it should be from what I can figure out on the plan is it's not going to hurt so this one I've done over here off camera this bottom one is in the correct location and this next one I'll do is in the correct location so from what I can figure out I think it's still going to be okay at this stage pure and simply I read the plans wrong
Yeah, from what I can work out, it's not going to hurt. It's just gonna, not going to look as good. I <laughs> just can't believe I just read that wrong. So now it has to have four tapped holes in the corners. One in each corner. So yeah, four M4 tapped holes around the outside here. Okay, I'll tap all them now and then I guess this piece is done for now until I get the rotary table set up. Okay, I'm not too sure how well you can see here, but I'm all set up in the rotary table, obviously. Uh, spin this back around. So I've got to put a, or cut all this out, 30.5mm uh, radius uh, diameter circle. Across this point here is flat. I'm going to put that in first. It's a bit hard to explain. I'll grab the plan and try and explain it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is form this flat in here first. And then move on and do all the radius. Taking a fair bit of time to set the rotary table up. And align the part to the axis of the lathe. But I think I'm right. Okay, that's got that, is that flat formed. Okay, now I can start setting up and do the radius. Where's a good starting point?
I am pretty confident this can come out now and I'll make it clear on how I set this up to how I located everything so what I've done I had a Morse tape of three blank when I machined up ages ago I just machined a 10.25 stub on the end which located over that then I used an 8mm dowel pin in the chuck offset the 18.9 which is the distance between these two centers and when the dowel pin dropped in that hole there's crap under that when the dowel pin dropped in that hole I was in line with the axes so that was the easiest way to do that so now this can this got to be set up in the forge or to machine this um, uh, spigot you want to call it that on this side here so it's got to be located off this center hole off this off this hole here and this will put the preload back on the bearings on the boring head itself Right, yeah, I'm all set up in the four drawer as you can see and it is a bit of a wild lash up but it's in there and it's all indicated off this centre bore. It's running square to the chuck, everything's right. If you want to imagine this piece is this block, this section here has to be 16mm and then I've got to replicate this right down to the T so it puts the same amount of preload back on to the bearings. So, I'll just start turning it down. I even trimmed the side of the packer off so that should be 16 mil on the money okay this diameter has to be 22.4 I'm pretty confident that's going to be on the money. Twenty-two point three nine five. <laughs> Got roughly about six bill to come off this face, so I'm not going to boys with that. I'll just bring us back when I'm getting close. should be exactly the same as the original one we are absolutely spot on okay I've got to break this edge and then set up a little boring bar and do the counter bore in the middle okay it's not real easy to get you guys in there so what I'm doing but the little counter bore has got to be half a mil deep That's it. I've got to break all these edges now. 
and these four corners have to have a radius on it. Actually, I was just looking at the plan. There is a cover plate that goes over the back. It's the same dimensions as this block, so I may bolt them two pieces together and then put the radiuses on, I think. Then they're all even then. It'll just look a lot better. So I just bolted it up quickly. Everything went up nice. I've just got to source two more screws um, to put in the bottom two there. And that's it. That piece is complete now by the radiuses. Okay, in the lathe we have the gear housing cover. I have machined it to width, length and height. Plus I have put a ram 6mm hole. What we have to do is make this. That ball, the bottom ball there, has to go, has to be 10 mil. I've made it six just so I can pick up and indicate it in on the on the lathe. So that ball and this outer ring going around the outside here has to be turned in one in one go so it all stays concentric. Um, once that's done. There is another counter bore at the back of that hole, so I can do that in the lay in the mill, and do all the other features in the mill as well. Plus, there is a, another counter bore in above that as well, which I think it's 19.5 mil diameter. So I went ahead this morning and just got it all prepped up to this stage, and yeah, wasn't going to waste your time watching that anyway. So I can drill and rain this out now to 10 mil. I'm sure that measures. Right, I don't know how good you're going to be able to see there, but I've got this to fit. I just checked that depth with a mic and I've got 0.21 to remove off it. Okay, I just had my neighbour drop in while I was finishing this off, but that fits uh, spot on. Now this has to have a counter ball put in here now. So I can get that done, set up a little boring bar and put that counter ball in. Okay, these are all done now. I apologise I couldn't get the camera in there and it was hard enough to see with myself what I was doing. This here is 0.5 mil from this face deep. This is 1.75 from this face deep. Um, this diameter here to here is 19.5. This one's 15.5 and I've just broke this leading edge into that 10 mil bore. So this needs to be set up in the mill now. Uh, it's got to have a, a bore put in here and a 10 mil slot put in this top section as well that'll come clear later plus on the back side of this this ball has to be another feature put in there too so yeah i'll get it set up in the mill okay i'm all set back up over this hole indicated out of this bore again 10 mil bore 
I have to shift 18.9 mil back and put a 19.5 millimeter bore in there, eight millimeters deep. So that's going to be interesting, isn't it? Fine hole. So what I'm going to plan on doing is going down with this cutter, which is a center drilling cutter, going down the eight mil, going out with a bigger cutter. I think it's 18 mil cutter I've got, and then going in with a boring head to bring it out the final size. Well, that actually went better than what I was expecting. Uh, I'll set the boring head up now and take it out to 19.5. Yep, that's it. Now I have to put a 10 mil cutter up and I have to put a slot between these two bores. Anyway, it's in there. It's a good thing. I just took this out. I knew there wasn't a lot of clearance there, but it's actually deformed the back here. It's not a real good thing, is it? Anyway, I'm going to keep going with this bit. It just may be a pretty pe pretty feature it has. Okay, I've started putting this bore in. And no real easy way of measuring it, really. So I'm still learning how to drive these. Trying to get the feel for them. This has to be at the 15.52 millimeters deep. 14.4. We're at 14.42. So, yeah, I don't think I've bought it. This, yeah, I've already shown what I've done on the other side. So I'll get this one done and I'll bring you guys back when I'm putting the rest of the holes in. So I've got two 6.5 mil holes to put through. And then four in the corners that had to be counterboard. Now we have to put four 4.5 mil holes with counter bores for the heads of the screws. I'll drill them all and I'll come back and counter more, counter bore them. It's all at the same time. Now I've got a counter bore them for. Okay, eight mil cutter up to put these counter bores in four and a half mil deep. There it is. I feel like I should screw them together and then dust across it with the fly cutter. Blend all them in. Just make it absolutely spot on when I do the uh, radiuses. 
that's probably what's going to happen. Like when you go side to side, there's no movement in that between this here and this where they link together. There's no movement. I'm pretty happy with that. Just slots in. So now what is left is to build the gears. <laughs> That'll be fun. Anyway, that's that part done. I thought I'd quickly just bolt it up to the boring head and see how it looks. So it all fit up all pretty good. I think once I dust over it, all the edges with the fly cutter with it all bolted together and then the radius is on, I think it'll look really nice. But everything bolts up beautifully. Well, that's another piece of the puzzle complete. Uh, off camera, I will dust these four edges off and radius the four corners off camera. And then in the next video, I'll start making the gear sets. So there's three gear sets to build. I'll show you making one, but I've, yeah, off camera, I've still got to make a, another arbor for the for the gear cutters because it's they're a smaller center so i'll get that built and yeah start making the gears uh some are well yeah the, some of the gears have got pinion shafts and some are just playing gears with keyways in them but i'll get them built and be able to test it again <laughs> anyway i hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching guys hopefully see you in the next one Right.